Ariana Grande. Hi, Christopher. Thank you. Over the course of Ariana Grande's career, her skin color has given everything from pale to a slight tease of nigga. You wanna be a nigga? Ariana Grande isn't black, but in my opinion, she for sure niggered it up during Thank You Next's era as light skinned Ari. Ain't no budget when I'm on the set. If I like it, then that's what I get. Yeah, I want it. I got it. In my When Miley Cyrus Was Black video, I didn't mention Miley's feelings towards hip-hop's culture following her usage of it. However, I will hear, as it's an example I consider cultural appropriation at its finest, which was light-skinned Miley's use of black culture to dissociate herself from Hannah Montana. Once Miley achieved her goal of separating herself from her fictional character on Disney Channel's Hannah Montana series, she badmouthed hip-hop as if it was an embarrassment to her and then returned to creating country music only to come out looking like a purdue f***ing chicken on the stage and then got mad and went back to country music Shh. bitch sit your stupid ass in An iconic dance group of three Mozambican men by the name of Tofu Tofu were given the opportunity to showcase their South African culture to the world in the Queen of Music's legendary Run the World music video. Beyonce should have said, who run the world? Gays. Yes, sir, Beyonce's admiration for these guys resulted in their flewed out trip to the video set in Inglewood, California to teach Beyonce their one of a kind African dances, performing the breathtaking choreography alongside Beyonce and getting paid. Okay. All I'm trying to say is Beyonce showcased cultural appreciation at its finest as she brought in Tofu Tofu and allowed them to experience how their African culture would be used in the video. Cultural appropriation to me is when you make it a costume and it's not coming from an authentic, genuine place. Considering Beyonce's example of cultural appreciation, Ariana Grande did the same in my opinion as she showed her appreciation of trap house culture in her notorious music video for Seven Rings. For example, the trap house in the music video contains black women, Hispanic women, as well as other communities a part of trap culture who've influenced the video. In connection with the tracks R&B, hip hop, and trap influences, Ariana illustrated her appreciation for black culture with the track's creation, as it was produced by three black men. Furthermore, two of the track's writers are black women. My friends are here, who I was lucky enough to work on the album with. This is Mikey and Scooty of Social House. Woo! Okay. This is Tommy Brown and Victoria Monet. Do y'all ever hear an album and it's just like, banger, 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 bang, like, you ain't even have to eat like that. <laughs> You devour that mama. I gave my thoughts on Thank You Next in my dark tale of Thank You Next video, so no need to rerun them here, but I will include an additional thought and vocalize that light skin Ari's reign over the music industry throughout Thank You Next's iconic era delivered a work of outstanding artistry that emphasizes why Ariana Grande is indeed a main pop girl. Oh, oh, oh.